Hi, it's Kylie from Painted Wing. Today I'll be demonstrating how to paint a tri-colored harem with watercolors. I will begin by adding orange paint to the neck. After adding a light layer of orange, I'm going to go back in with some more pigment to create shadows on the neck. Now we'll just let the paint dry. For this next step, we'll be creating a wash. First, I'll be adding some clean water to the paper. Now I'll be adding blue paint to the bird. The color I used here was mine Blue Genuine, but you can use whatever you have on hand. When I add the paint, I'm making sure not to touch the eye, but just get really close to it. For the tighter areas, I'm using a small brown brush. Now I'm going to dab in some extra pigment. I like my paintings to have a little extra texture to them, which is why I'm dabbing instead of creating a smooth, flat wash. For the shadows, I'm mixing in some indigo paint with the Mayan blue. Here I'm adding some extra paint to darken the area. Now I'm adding a little extra burnt sienna paint to the neck and being careful not to mix the two colors too much. Now I'm going to create some feathers just using a few brush strokes using a number four round brush. Tricolored herons also have purple in their feathers. Here I'm adding some purple paint that I created mixing some red and blue paint. Now I'm going to add a couple of feathers onto the heron's head with a few brush strokes. Using a clean wet brush, I'm going to blend the purple out and then add some blue paint. And a couple more brush strokes here. In order to add texture, I'm going to be splashing some water onto the wet paint. Now I'll be moving on to the beak and eye. I'm going to start off by adding some yellow paint. While the yellow paint is still wet, I'm going to be adding in some burnt sienna. After the yellow paint dries, I'm going to go in with a small round brush dipped in paint gray and trace around this area. Once I'm done outlining this area, I'm going to fill in the rest of the feathers with blue paint. Here I'm adding just a few details. The heron's beak goes from a blackish blue to a purple to a yellow. In order to blend the colors, I'm going to start from the opposite end. I'll first add gray paint and then blue and then I'll take a clean wet brush and blend it with the yellow. Now for the lower part of the beak, I'll be using gray paint again and then some purple, and then blending it out using a clean brush dipped in water. For additional value, I'll be adding some orange paint right here. 
For the rest of the details on the beak, I'm using a small round brush dipped in gray paint. For the eye, I'll be using a reddish orange color. I'll start out painting the iris and then the pupil. While painting the pupil, I'm going to make sure to leave a highlight. Now that the head is complete, all I have to do is finish the body. And since this is a portrait style painting, there isn't much left. Here I'm adding a magenta purple color that I mixed. Like most of my paintings, I'm going to have this piece sort of fade out. I'll also be adding a few quick bold brush strokes. You'll notice as I paint looser, I also move quicker. While painting loosely, I move more intuitively rather than planning everything out in advance. A few last details and then this piece is complete. Thank you so much for watching, and for those subscribed to my Patreon, I'll have downloadable drawing templates available for this piece later this week. Thank you.